Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on the ExtremeFS distributed file system. What we're going to go over in this tutorial series is setting up all of the services involved with ExtremeFS on their own separate server, as well as a couple clients to be able to connect to those services and be able to show you how files are distributed between them. So prior to the tutorial, I've booted five Amazon Linux AMI servers. I feel it's a little easier to work on ExtremeFS on a CentOS-based server rather than an Ubuntu-based server. Um, I've created an SSH key pair to log in, and I've created a wide open security group, all inbound outbound, um, just because it's a demo. Um, now I won't go too in depth on each one of these server services, but we have the directory server, metadata server, and storage server. Uh, the metadata and the storage server ultimately end up talking to the directory server. The storage server is what's going to store all of your content. And the metadata server is going to store bits of information about your entire system. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to log into the directory server and we're going to install ExtremeFS. Now the way I'm going to install ExtremeFS on the directory server is the exact same way on the metadata and the storage server. So I've already taken care of those two for you and I'll show you one. So what we're going to do is we're going to log into the directory server. We're going to sudo up and we're just going to go to the ExtremeFS download page and this is the download page for the CentOS. We're going to go into where our repositories are. We're going to head and grab their repository so we can install their packages and we're going to run yum install extremefs server and we'll give it a dash y at the end. So this is going to install the extremefs server and this is the exact same setup like I said on the metadata and the storage server. So now that that's complete we're actually going to leave this server up because we're going to need it later so we're going to create a new tab. So now we need to log into the client server. Again, very, very similar to these three. The client servers are the exact same install, except instead of installing uh, the ExtremeFS server, we're going to install the ExtremeFS client. So I'll go ahead and do that with client one right now. And I've already taken care of it for client two. So we're going to log into client one. We're going to make sure we sudo up. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go into our repositories. We're going to grab the ExtremeFS repository. And we're going to install the ExtremeFS client this time. So that should just take a second to install. So now what we need to do is we need to start getting these services running. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the directory server and we're going to start the directory server's service. So this server tab that I'm on right now is the directory server. So all we're going to do is we're going to run this command here to start the ExtremeFS directory. So we can see that that was a success. So now we can completely log out of this machine and we don't have to worry about it anymore. And we could see that this is the client install that happened in the background, that that is complete. So we can go ahead and exit out of this server. So now we need to take care of the metadata and the storage server. So remember, in the directory server, I've already started the directory service. Um, so now we need to log into the metadata server. So what we need to do is we need to edit a configuration file in the metadata server as well as the storage server to point the directory server. So we're going to need to go to this mrconfig.properties file. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to edit the directory service host. So you can see that it says localhost here because it's assuming all the services are running on the same server. But in our case we wanted to split it up into three different boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the directory server's public IP address and we're going to paste it right in here. So now that we've got our configuration set up, we can go back to our quick start and we can start our metadata server. 
we can see that that was a success. So we can log out of this. Now we need to log in to the storage server. We're going to need to do a very similar thing. We're going to need to edit uh, its configuration file, except this time it's not the MRC configuration file, it's the OSD configuration file. We're going to look for the same thing. We're going to go to where it says localhost. And we're going to replace this with our directory server. Okay, so now we've edited that configuration file. And now we can start the storage server. Okay, so that was a success. So now we have each one of these services running on their appropriate server. Now one thing that's really, really cool, we can go to our directory server and we can see that we have our ExtremeFS system all up and running. And this will be important later because when we register our first volume, we'll be able to see it in here. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is log into client one. So we're gonna log into client one and we are going to create our first volume. And what we need to do is we need to register this volume to our metadata server. So all I did was I logged into client one and I sudoed up. And I'm just gonna jump over to the quick, quick start guide here and we're gonna create our first volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these commands over and I'm not gonna copy this MRC extremefs.org. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that with my metadata server. So we'll copy that public IP. And we'll call our volume AWS Tutorial Series. So basically what this says is it successfully created a volume on our metadata server called AWS Tutorial Series. So if we pop back over to our ExtremeFS directory server and we click refresh, and we scroll down, we can see that we now have a volume called AWS Tutorial Series. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually mount this volume onto our server. So we need to create a directory really quick. We'll make dir AWS Tutorial Series. And now, if we'll jump back to the quick start guide, we're going to mount this volume from our directory server onto our client server. So we're gonna say mount the ExtremeFS. Instead of directory, we're gonna copy our current directory. We're gonna say AWS tutorial series, and we'll give it that folder. So basically this is saying is I wanna mount from the directory server the volume called AWS Tutorial Series onto a folder called AWS Tutorial Series. Now this folder is completely agnostic to the volume that we've created. This could be called anything that you want it to be. This is just a pointer to that volume that is on the, on the metadata server. So now if we list it out, we can see that it's green, which means that um, we've got a success here. So if we go into AWS Tutorial Series, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna echo hello world into a log file. So if we cat out this log file, we can see that we got hello world. So now the cool thing I'm gonna show you is I'm going to log into client number two. I'm gonna mount the exact same volume and we're gonna see that file in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Now I need to log into the second client. Now I'm gonna sudo up. I'm gonna make a directory called AWS Tutorial Series. Again, this directory is completely agnostic to um, the volume name. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the quick start guide. I'm gonna copy this third command. Remember, we've, we don't need to run this create volume command because we have already created the volume. We're gonna run the mount. I'm gonna grab the directory server. This would be much easier if I actually had host names up for these. And we're going to paste that in and we're gonna say, we want it to talk to this folder. So now we can see we're on client number two and we can see that we got a green success here. So if we uh, CD into this directory, 
I'm going to list out and we can see that we got our log file. We can cat that out and let's uh, go ahead and edit it. We're going to say I am in client 2. We'll save that. We'll exit out of this server. We're going to log into client 1. And we're going to see that we have that file in there. And we can see that I am client 2. So you can see how we have our three ExtremeFS servers running the ExtremeFS server, and then we have two uh, servers running the ExtremeFS client. Um, these clients talk to the uh, directory server to get their volumes. They register new volumes with the metadata server, and all of the data is coming off of the storage server. Hopefully you found this tutorial uh, very informative. Um, I know that the word server and service has been tossed around a million times, so I hope it wasn't too confusing for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.